Hello my dear students, welcome back to our English class. Do you like to travel by ship? How many of you have traveled by ship? Some of you might have traveled by ship, isn't it? Yes. I have two ships here. Have you ever noticed any difference between these two ships? Yes, these two ships are for different purpose. This is a cargo ship. Do you know about cargo ship? A cargo ship is used for business purpose, such as transporting goods. It is a passenger ship used for pleasure travel. And it has facilities such as restaurant, swimming pool, gym and clubs. And it takes the passenger to different places. You might have got an idea about the topic that we are going to learn today. Have you? Yes, some of you seem to have got it. Exactly, a good play. So, today we are going to learn our fifth chapter. And the name of this poem is A Good Play. Have you ever imagined yourself as a hero? And acted to be fighting with some of your toys? If you were playing a game with a friend or a sibling, which character would you like to become? Jackie Chan? Spider-Man? Ninja? A girl? Cinderella? My dear children, here I have a few pictures of games. Chess, Ludo, Snake and Ladder. Okay, now tell me, what is this? Yes, you are correct, a kitchen set. How do you play with it? Okay, we do not use any of the real vegetables, oil, water in it. Instead, we use stones, leaves, paper, etc. Actually, we pretend to make food in the kitchen with kitchen set, isn't it? Yes. Today, we are going to learn about a poem called A Good Play by Robert Louis Stevenson. He was born in Scotland. He wrote stories of adventure. His most famous book is Treasure Island. In this poem, the poet describes how two little children, Tom and his friend. In this poem that we are going to learn today, the poet describes how two little children, Tom and his friend, pretended or imagined that they were sailing in a ship. Dear children, before we move on to the poem, let's have a look at all the important words. Billows. B I L L O W S Billows Waves Billows Waves Second word So S A W So An object or a tool used to cut wood or anything hard Okay, repeat it So S a W an object or a tool used to cut wood or anything hard. Our third word nursery N U R S E R Y nursery. The word nursery here means a in child's room. Repeat it nursery N U R S E R Y Nursery A in child's room A in child's room Okay Our fourth word Pails P A I L S Pails Buckets Pails Buckets Our fifth word Enough E N O U G S Plenty Enough Plenty. So, dear kids, these are the new words we are going to learn in this poem. 
okay are you ready so dear children now let us have a look at the mind map of the poem a good play in this poem we will learn about the play time of two friends and how they build a make believe ship on the staircase and how they have been sailing on for many days to come and one of one of the friends tom ended up hurting his knee and the play was brought to a standstill now listen to me carefully a good play we built a ship upon the stairs all made of the back bedroom chairs and filled it full of sofa pillows to go a sailing on the billows we took a saw and several nails and water in the nursery pails and tom said let us also take an apple and a slice of cake which was enough for tom and me to go a sailing on till tea we sailed along for days and days and had the very best of plays but tom fell out and hurt his knee so there was no one left but me and this poem is by robert louis stevenson by listening to me what do you feel about this poem we built a ship upon the stairs all made of the back bedroom chairs and filled it full of sofa pillows to go a sailing on the billows well through this line the poet describes the play time of two friends one of whom is named tom the friends build a make believe ship what do you mean by make believe yes it is an imaginary object assumed from whatever you have at hand so the friends build a make believe ship on the staircase and use their bedroom chairs and sofa pillows for the same what did they use yes they used the bedroom chairs and sofa pillows and where did they make their make believe ship yes you are correct they made the make believe ship on the staircase the speaker says that they used ship to go sailing on the waves what have you understood from this stanza we took a saw and several nails and water in the nursery pails and tom said let us also take an apple and a slice of cake which was enough for tom and me to go a sailing on till tea so what does the narrator say here the narrator then says that carpenter's tools such as saw and nails were required for the ship's construction they also took water in small buckets and tom suggested that they should also pack an apple and a cake slice which would be enough for them on their voyage until tea time so children what all things did they arrange for their voyage yes they packed an apple and a cake slice we sailed along for days and days and had the very best of plays but tom fell out and hurt his knee so there was no one left but me we sailed along for days and days and had the very best of plays but tom fell out and hurt his knee so there was no one left but me what do you now understand from this stanza here the speaker then goes on to tell how they played for the many days to come and had a great time together it is then revealed in the poem that the games were brought to a standstill after tom ended up hurting his knee so there was no one left but me which mean tom was left alone 
So, why did they stop the game? Yes, it is because Tom ended up hurting his knee. And after this, the speaker was left with nobody. To resume playing the pretended sailing game. So he stopped the gate. Children, now let us recite the poem together. Are you ready? Okay. A good play. We built a ship upon the stairs, all made of the back bedroom chairs, and filled it full of sofa pillows to go a sailing on the billows. We took a saw and several nails and water in the nursery pails. And Tom said, let us also take an apple and a slice of cake, which was enough for Tom and me to go a sailing on till tea. We sailed along for days and days and had the very best of plays. But Tom fell out and hurt his knee. So there was no one left but me. Children, it was a beautiful poem, wasn't it? Yes, we learned about Tom and his friends. Imagine to make a trip by ship. They made a make-believe ship and even arranged food for their imaginary voyage. Unfortunately, they had to stop the game when Tom hurt his knee. So, children, have you ever imagined something adventurous to make your playtime more interesting? Do you like the way how two little children build a make-believe ship on the staircase? So, dear kids, creativity is thinking up new things. Innovations are doing new things. You cannot use up creativity. The more you use it, the more you hard. So dear kids, creativity is thinking up new things. Innovations are doing new things. You cannot use up creativity. The more you use it, the more you have it developed. So dear kids, try to become a creative thinking genius. I hope you all enjoyed the poem. See you in the next class. Bye-bye.